So my thoughts on using inversion therapy, so like headstands or hanging from your feet like a bat, as a mechanism for helping POTS, I get the logic of it. It's like, well, I'm not getting blood flow to my head if I tip it over and use gravity as my guide. I'll at least put some blood in my head. But the problem is not the putting the blood in your head part, because you can lay down and do the same thing. The problem is that the machinery that normally sends blood up to your head, it's a pump. It has to pump blood up to your head. Those are all based on reflexes. It's a neurological response that causes that to happen. So what we're really talking about are reflexes that aren't working correctly. Passively tipping your head down and dumping the blood into your head, while that may momentarily expand the blood volume in your head, it isn't necessarily solving how to fix the reflexes that aren't working correctly. The downside to it would be people that have problems with cerebral autoregulation, which is the kind of the pressure management of the vessels in the head, you're going to have big ballotment or like an increase of blood flow to your head. So a lot of times people People will feel a big head rush, you might get a migraine, and then when you come up, you might feel dizzy and disoriented afterwards. Some people will feel well, similar to the way they feel when they lay down, just maybe amplified a little bit. But I don't know that those are solid long-term solutions. They're kind of more like party tricks that you might use in the meantime. We use rescue maneuvers where we have people lay down, raise their legs in the air, and that dumps some of the blood from their legs back to their heart so they can recirculate as well. So it's not as though it's not useful in any respect at all. Like if you're in an acute crisis and you need to just get some blood back in your head, yeah. Tipping somebody upside down is super helpful. But if you're looking at it as like a long-term play, you probably need to work backwards and actually solve like reflexively, why is my brain not controlling these correctly? What can I do to fix that? That's gonna be more useful in the long term.